a legit explanation. Yeah, with Wisp and Moose, like, you got these cards that are decent anyway. So, if you don't dispel them, it's not, like, that bad. Uh, well, this hand is a clunker. We've got a good, we've got a good opening of turn one Mentor just to take up space. Blood Tear for killing a Wraithling. Phoenix Fire kills quite a few different things. So I'll just ship the expensive cards. We have plenty. Looking for Thunderhorn and Protocol, most of all. This is a decent opening curve, at least. We can't even do Herald, Blood Tear, Gotatsu on turn one if they... I don't know what they would play that would warrant that, I guess, but... I mean, if they play, like, a Phantasm or something, we can kill it. Yeah, that's what I meant. The overall effect just seems more significant. Yeah, fair enough. Zix. Okay. Probably not worth doing all of this to kill it. Are they playing the Mithron? They're not. So this is a normal Swarm deck. That we found ourselves up against. So I can play Bloodbound Mentor in the middle and an Alchemist to the side. To help, like, ping one of them, make trades. Opponent can crash all of them into the Mentor and it dies. <clears throat> As a Herald probably isn't doing a ton on this board. I'd much rather get a Cryptographer. Damn. Uh, let's go over here. I feel like making the defensive play. If anything else, putting down a big 3-4 like this is quite hard for my opponent to remove. She has the Demonic Lure and then attack it with Lilith and the Zix. So that takes up a decent amount of resources and time. She can still play it. She can still play quite a bit of stuff. I mean, this Zix one is really good because she gets two mana tiles. That's the thought. Maybe I should have taken this one just for that. And Blood Tear Alchemist face. Because we don't have AoE really, so if she plays out a bunch of stuff. Well, we do. We have Thunderhome Protocol, but it's not in hand. What's this? Is that a gate? No, it's a Void Talon. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, we can run away from Void Talon and kill it next turn, so that's fine. Um, or put something in the way of it. Could like, don't have anything to do except like Phoenix Fire the Zix. Give me a Thunderhorn as a Herald. And Phoenix Fire as a Herald's okay. Phoenix Fire does have better targets, but I need to get I need to get my opponent's stuff off the board. I'd rather make some kind of tempo play. Uh, here seems fine. Then we can get to this next turn for a nice clean 2 for 1. Face Lily. Could be. Um, if that's a thing. Oh god, Dark Seed is great against Trial decks. Always gets that plus 1 damage. Even when they're top decking, it still deals 2. Shadow Spawn. What we got? More Void Talons. That sucks. I guess I can kill the next one as well. So I can Body Block. She can clear this, but it takes a bunch of resources to do so. It really annoys me that I can't play Geomancer this turn if I'm doing this. Let's replace the Calligrapher again, because he's a bit slow. No! Damn, this hand sucks. Unless I want to trade here, punch this, play Geomancer, take my lumps from the 6-1. No, I'd, rather, I'd actually rather get an Arcane Heart into play. So we ping this. Maybe I should play the Blood Tear anyway. Like, because I can protect the Azure Herald with it. We can go this here. Play Blood Tear, like, here or something. Kill that. Not worth running this out, I will replace it. Zendo is a great draw. Okay, we can go Zendo into Calligrapher now and protect ourselves reasonably well. And then Calligrapher draws a bunch of spells, which would probably be trash, but might win us the game. So this way she has to, like, ping this. She can have a Blood Tear or something. Um, in order to get face. And we're still on 25 with healing in hand, so... Oh, good. Ugh, that's rough. I mean, that takes her entire turn, though. Why are you playing that? It seems like a weird choice. Hmm. 
So, options. Geomancer, Zendo, Calligrapher. I'll just take the more mana efficient play. Um, maybe I should hold on to this. I can do Geomancer as a Herald next turn. We need we need four, five, six, seven. So I shouldn't replace the Geomancer at least. Maybe I should replace this looking for quest completion. But it's also healing and I think we need healing. So here's a Zendo. Your turn. So now my opponent has to come up with removal for this, which she's already used one Ritual Banishing. She can Shadow Spawn, Ritual Banishing, play a 2-drop. We can Geomancer and Phoenix fire the 2-drop, hopefully. There's the Ritual. Kills that. Or we can just Calligrapher it. But I guess... Maybe we mill some cards then. Spectral Blade. Okay. Oh, nice. So I could do Arcane Heart, Gotatsu this. Play the Geomancer. Um, or I can just Geomancer and shoot her in the face. Maybe punch this. Spectral Blade suggests it probably is Face Lily. So she can kill this for free, but then she has to. It takes three more damage. Can shoot her once with the ability. Yeah, okay. Geomancer is really good. Let's play Geomancer. Nice. So we need four and seven, I think, to complete the trial. And we have the calligrapher in hand already, which is great because it'll clear the artifact next turn. Is that another Void Talon? Blimey. I don't think I can do much about that. That is just going to hit me in the face. I can cycle the Gatatsu on it, I suppose, but that doesn't do a ton. Dancing Blades... No. I think we do just play the Calligrapher now. Have I mill a bunch of cards? Maybe the Zendo is better. I could do Zendo as a Herald. In fact, what I can do is step away, put Zendo in between me and the Void Talon, put the as a Herald here, and then the Talon can't reach me. And that's a large, large, large portion of my opponent's burst potential gone. There's no point in hitting my opponent to break the artifact. A, because that deals me a bunch of damage. And B, because like, she can kill Zendo anyway. That's a good draw. This is working pretty well. So she's kind of obliged to remove this. She might have some better... Is that Grasp of Agony? No. Okay, fine. She spent a card on it, so... I'm okay to take six if she's spending a card on the Privilege. Holy moly. Oh, she missed sequence there. Imagine if the 1-1 one -one had spawned here. She'd be so sad. Ow, my face. Uh, boo. what now? Calligrapher. Protocol. Thunderhorn. Thunderhorn, yes! Okay. Oh, that doesn't even kill, it just kills these. But that's better than nothing. And I can do a lot of damage. So I can pull this up. We... And then go face with that. And then if I attack face, I don't die to revenant plus attack. Oh, I don't break this artifact anyway, so I'll just leave it. Oh, that's a good draw. One off lethal. How was I one off lethal?
Oh, with this and Phoenix Fire. No, that's two. She was on ten, so that's that's eight damage. Yeah, <laughs> that's alright. It's still a fair point. It's close to lethal. Being close to lethal and not lethal is sad. My opponent doesn't seem to be able to remove this Thunderhorn. Hooray! Who needs quest, huh? Alright, one more game of this and then we'll mix it up. I'm somehow wind streaking like a madman with these piles. This is great. 